Hi everyone, back on again. Thorny subject, stop taps. Or stop cocks, whichever you like to call them. And that thorny problem, have you gone to turn the water off and it won't move, it's solid. Uh, and I've got a video up on another way of doing this, but I'm gonna show you one other way uh, that you may be able to free it. And don't think that by putting WD-40 on there, it would do any good because it won't touch it. <laughs> Waste of time. Okay, this is my preferred way of easing off a tap handle. Now, not all of them are going to go. Sometimes you just can't move them. They've been stiff for so long. So, here we have our stopcock. I'm showing you an example with a 22mm one. Obviously, it's a new stopcock. Normally, I know they're at the back of a cupboard in a very awkward place, usually under a sink somewhere, and they're a devil to get to. Now, we're assuming that's solid open, but usually are and you can't move it, it's just gone pretty hard. First thing to do, okay, a little spanner, and ease off this packing nut if you can. Now I've got this one loose already, uh, I've already put it, already loosened it off, but just turn it like so, and just twist it off a few turns. Don't worry if it starts to weep a little bit, it's quite normal, because we can tighten it up afterwards if we manage to free the thing and get it working, all right? Now, if it's got, a screw head in there and you can take this top off even better uh, and it give you a bit more room to work with so what do I do then the only thing I find nice to get a grip on these round brass barrel is a pair of these these are old-fashioned Stilsons I've used them for years uh, these are tens but you're probably better with a smaller pair an eight size eight because uh, they'll get in there and what I do as you can see if I turn this around is I adjust those to fit over that okay and get a grip now assuming that obviously it's solid you should be able to push it down and just get a bit of movement you might not be able to go that far and once it gets really hard don't try and push it anymore take the stilsons off and go back the other way okay take it back to where you was take it off and then go back again and what you'll find, you'll gradually get a little bit more and a little bit more, like more around to that way there. Now we've got a little bit more out of it. Don't try and push it any harder. And back, open it up again. And gradually you're breaking off the lime scale that is inside that thread, uh, getting it off and getting this tap to go. So just keep at it. It takes a little while, still some back on, and turn again. And you'll probably find you get even a little bit more again. And then back off. Leave the tap over the sink running. Uh, and you'll see when you get it off because a lot of people don't realize that some of these taps are only on a little short way they're only probably on a couple of turns um, and what happens is you've actually got it off but don't realize that it is off because uh, you haven't tried the tap at the sink so while you're doing this sounds mad but run the tap so you can see when it is off because believe me a lot of people have actually got the tap off realize not realize that it is off and gone that little bit farther and broken it. At the end of the day, as I say, if you break it, it's already broken. So, you know, there you are. You're going to have to renew it anyway. But that's usually my remedy. You can then turn it back on. Usually, once you've done that, you can do it by hand. Okay, and if you get any weeps out of this gland nut here at all, anything out of there, you can pack it with PTFE tape and just push it in and then do it up again. Okay, but normally you can just tighten it up, get your spanner back. And just don't, now don't go too mad with this because if you tighten it too much you won't be able to turn it again it will go very stiff so there's a fine balance you will take it off a bit if it feels too stiff and it will be nice and easy so don't over tighten this packing lantern or you're back to square one all right don't go mad so pop that loose again and just pack it if it won't really hold the leak then as I undo it completely a string of PTFE tape by that long just roll it thin Roll it around that there and just push it in with a screwdriver into that hollow setting. Just pump it in and then push that in and do it up. Then you'll find you won't have to do that nut up quite so tight. Uh, and it will still hold water then, uh, but not leak. And you should be able to turn it nice and easy. Okay, so that's my simple remedy. So I know a lot of you won't have Stilsons. You know, it's kind of not a together tool. But if you've got a stopcock that is really quite bad, you just can't move it then to buy a pair of 8 inch Stilsons uh, is not a lot of money and worth a go because sometimes the 
the hassle of trying to renew a stopcock in a dodgy position really tight can be a lot of time consuming energy for a little thing I mean these cost next to no money really um, I know people have turned them off in the street and put the stopcock above the old one on a spare bit of copper above but it's not quite the, the done thing really <laughs> I've seen it many times um, and uh, it's it can do it that way but to actually renew the tap in place sometimes can be quite an arduous problem when it's behind cupboards and so forth. Okay, so that's it. Just a little tip on me. I, I know I've already got a video on seized up stopcocks before, but um, I thought I'd try this tip as well because uh, I may not have mentioned it on the old one because I'm still getting lots of people with trouble with the old seized up stopcock. Anyway, there you are. So that's it from me. Usual place for my videos. You know where to go. Derrick and 33. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.